Ladies and gentlemen, and I have actually said this before and quite, reason, re, quite recently, what's left of Jay Redden? kids. Hi. All right, so simple story tonight. Tonight is a story of broken bones, but not that broken bone, okay? Just move beyond it. Pretend it's not there. <laughs> but I've been playing your second hand for clapping tonight. What did you just say? <laughs> okay, moving beyond that. Did you just hit him? That was beautiful. <laughs> okay. Did you know that I am a modern medical marvel. Yes, yes. Not only that, but more. Let me tell you. So, I went to go see a wonderfully terrible movie. It's called Last Man Standing. It stars Bruce Willis. Piece of shit. But when you pay a dollar to go see a movie, you really don't expect a whole lot. So you hang out in the movie theater for a little while, and you leave. You walk out the door, and... Much like tonight, the heavens have opened up and the rain is pouring down thicker than you've ever seen in Texas. And you spot your car at the back of the parking lot. And it's one of those really nice trendy parking lots, you know, has a parking space and a little grass embedment. There's a tree, a little more grass, another parking space, another parking space, a little more grass, you get the fucking idea, right? <laughs> so I spot the car. Devise my game plan, jump over the curb, go around the homeless guy, make it under that other SUV, slide up next to my car, and I'm in probably only with a half a pound of water on me. And I begin to run. And I make it over the first embankment. And I make it over the second embankment. I make it under the SUV. I make it to the third embankment. And you know, water, grass, and my balance is a motherfucker. So I slipped on the grass and fell off of a curb. A little tiny curb. No bigger than six inches or my dick, whichever you like, you know? <laughs> and off of that tiny fall, how do I earn the positivity pill for my own joke? <laughs> off of the tiny curb, I fall and I plummet to the earth. And I land and I scream and I yelp and I cry and I climb inside of the car because I was only about four feet away from the damn thing. And I pull my shoe off, I get my sock off my toe and my toe looks like that. That's your fault, I'm on the stage, you should know better at this point. The buddy of mine who's in the car with me looks at my toe and goes, dude, I think your, fu your fucking toe's fucked up. <laughs> what gave it away? The blood sticking out, the bone protruding, or the 90 degree angle on my fucking toe? <laughs> so we call my dad. Oh, no. Hey, dad, dad, I, I hurt myself, something's wrong. What'd you do? I broke a toe. So? I don't know if you've ever broken a toe before, but the list of things you can do is put a piece of wood against it, tape it to the next one, and get on with your fucking day, okay? So I broke my toe, and I go home, and my mother, the registered nurse, goes, Jay, did you splint your toe? And me, having a mother for a registered nurse, already knew how and splinted my toe. By the way, when you straighten it back up, it shouldn't go pop. I say, Mom, yeah, I, sh I, I got it splinted. Okay, go to bed, went to bed. Get up on Saturday. Kind of hobble around. <laughs> I knew where it was. Did you see? Just about. Mom looks at me and goes, you okay? I don't know. I, I'm going to be all right. Make it to Sunday. On Sunday, I'm now crawling on my hands and knees. Mom! I need to go to the hospital! Jay, you just broke your toe. I know something's wrong. 
So after maybe three or four hours of that, they get me to the hospital the next day. <laughs> and I get to the docs. The doc comes up goes, hey, Jay. Hi, doc. What's wrong? My toe's broken. Why are you here? <laughs> no, there's something wrong. <laughs> All right, so they go stick me in the x-rays. You know, they take the nice pretty pictures. Turn your foot like this. I can't turn my foot like that. Now, for anybody who's an aspiring med student, anyone who's gotten their medical degree, anyone who is a doctor, I'm going to teach you a very important rule of bedside manner now. Look at the goddamn x-ray first. Doc walks into the room. There's that little reader board that you put the x-ray up on. You flick the light on. Click. You can see what's on there. She puts the x-ray up. Click. Oh, my. All right, Doc, I'm not cool with you jan channeling George Takai right now. What the fuck did I do? <laughs> well, well, Jay, uh, I... Well, that's a break, 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 break. Twelve goddamn places! <laughs> so Doc looks at me and goes, what'd you do, jump off of the building? No, and you guys already know the answer. I fell off a goddamn curb! At which point the doctor asks what I consider to be a logical question. Were you on drugs? <laughs> and despite what all of you were thinking, I was not. Hey. That time. <laughs> so she says, okay, Jay, I don't know what to do with this. We're gonna send you to an orthopedic specialist. The orthopedic specialist takes a look at it and goes, oh my God. <laughs> and you'll have to come back next week for the rest. Ladies and gentlemen, the remains of Jay Redden. I don't know about you, but I was in, I was in back going, oh! Just, ah. Who was eating at the time? Okay, good. Small, a couple of people in back. I'm really sorry. You saw him hit the stage, and you're like, hummus later. I hope no one was eating a chicken finger at the time. I'm sorry, Jay. Jay told me to say that. I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to the open stage. I want to get our performers back up here one more time for a little bow. Jay, come back up here. Be careful on the stairs. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Redden. And his wrist. Marie Martin. Cameron Rivers and Clay Dipple. Mr. Fancy Indeed. <laughs> Megan Mayo. Ian James. And Brett Crow. Let's see if we can get this on the first try, friends. Thank you, and good night.